Hello, Shian Makaskar here, Intelligent Software. Welcome to my second video in sourcing techniques for recruiters. Today, I'm going to talk about LinkedIn and specifically how to be found on LinkedIn. Why do you want to be found? Well, uh, obviously, you want to find uh, you want people to find you and engage with you and do business with you. But also, if you understand the things it takes to be found on LinkedIn, you'll get an appreciation of the people who aren't necessarily that easily found on LinkedIn and maybe give you some ideas to how to find them. Okay, so first of all, let's look at a profile. This is my profile on LinkedIn. You're welcome to connect to me. Uh, I'm going to scroll down and look at the right hand side and it says how powerful is your profile. You want that bar to be up at the top. If it's not up at the top, you need to complete more sections of LinkedIn. Go in and edit your profile and add more stuff in. Summaries, all your employment history, your education history, references. Uh, it's important to get as much information there as possible. LinkedIn changed their algorithm. It used to be a case where you could put in the same word lots of times and when people searched on that term you came to the top of the search that no longer works linkedin's algorithm is more sophisticated uh, it's a bit more like google in that sense it may even penalize you for repeating the same word lots and lots of times i don't know it's a, a little bit vague as to exactly uh, what its mechanism of search is uh, but you want to be uh, articulate and write your profile I suppose in the way it makes sense to the person that's reading it you want to have lots of information there use lots of keywords uh, regularly in the sensible context so that LinkedIn can have some understanding as to um, who you are and, and, and how you relate to your industry. The other thing I'll say is put contact details all over the place. Bear in mind that your contact info section on LinkedIn is only available to maybe your first and second degree connections. But you really want that telephone numbers and email addresses available to everybody. So put it all over the place. Uh, in my headline I've put in my URL for intelligent software. It's really important that, as far as I'm concerned, that people can connect with me and, and can find me. Your headline's also your strap line on LinkedIn. It's the thing that people see when they see a comment you post in a group or an update um, or see you as, as somebody related to somebody that they know. So you want to have a really powerful uh, strap line that people will will see and react to. Similarly, your photograph is seen all over LinkedIn, so it's important to have a good, strong photograph. Uh, uh, there's lots of people talk about uh, the, the, the perfect photograph for LinkedIn, but I think uh, you know yourself, you want something that's professional and, uh, and appropriate. Okay, so think about how LinkedIn searches work to begin with. LinkedIn searches uh, tell you people within your network, first, second, third degree, and group connections. Therefore, if you want to be found, be in lots of groups. You can be in up to 50 groups. Join 50 groups. Uh, obviously, you want them relevant to the industry you're interested in, but you can also join just big groups. Some of the open networker groups have hundreds of thousands of people in them. Uh, and if you join the big groups, then therefore, there's a very large swathe of people on LinkedIn can see who you are and connect to you. Uh, whenever I mean an open, uh, an open group, I mean people that are... Uh, or an open connectors group, rather, I mean people that have the letters L I O N usually on their profile, LinkedIn Open Networker. What it means is these are people that will connect pretty well anybody and they have big networks. So if you connect to people with big networks, then your second degree, third degree network will be much bigger than it would otherwise be. You might want to connect to me. I've got about 10,500, 11,000 connections. So I could be considered a big networker on LinkedIn. Um, the other thing I'll point out is that in terms of searching, that's searching through LinkedIn. But bear in mind, that's not the only way people have arrived in your profile. You've also got a public profile on LinkedIn. This is what Google sees and what search engines see. So have a look at that. You can edit that and you can decide what bits of your full profile go onto your public profile. So just be aware that it's also well populated and optimized for search engines. What else have we got? Um, in terms of building connection networks, it's really important to have lots of connections. Um, goes without saying, LinkedIn doesn't like you to connect to people you don't know. In actual fact, as part of the terms and conditions, you sign up and say that you won't connect to people you don't know. Um, maybe you want to connect to people on through groups. LinkedIn um, gives that as an option as their connection menu. Maybe you want to look at the people that LinkedIn suggests you know. So you've also got this. Um, people you may know section within LinkedIn uh, that gives you lots of people who have maybe visited your profile or you visited their profile or they're connected through a common link or whatever. 
Personally, I find that the browser doesn't really work too well for me. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just me. I prefer the the iPad app for LinkedIn. It seems to be just that more much more user convenient to scroll through and see who you know and who you don't know. Finally, I want to highlight one other thing uh, that is uh, relatively new to LinkedIn. If you scroll down from the home page, you'll see people who viewed your profile. If you go in there, obviously you get the people who viewed your profile, check to see what how many page views you're getting. You can see I'm getting about 130 at the moment um, per week. But you can also see how your page view ranks against everybody else in your network. If I look at my network, I'm 140th out of 10,800 people. Uh, my friend uh, Stacy Zapper is number one, the most connected woman on LinkedIn. You'll see the top of your list are going to be your big connectors are going to be in there. They're the people that are driving lots and lots of traffic to their website. So maybe Stacy has a few other tips and tricks as to how to get people to find her on LinkedIn. Anyway, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got more videos coming very, very soon. Check out my blog page, intel-sw.com forward slash blog. Connect to me on LinkedIn. Please share this on your social networks and get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your time. All the best. Bye.